Tuesday. I am ready for another week of thrifting. Another week of fun. We found some good stuff last week. We had some uh, sore spots too, but uh, hopefully we'll do even better this week. We'll see you inside. So we'll scan both of these. See if either one are worth grabbing. So this one's been opened, obviously. There's a few that sold. It looks like they're listed for about 40, sell for about 30 to 40. Um, a bunch still listed. 15, you know it's gonna be expensive to ship. So I probably can leave that. I've seen a couple of these. It's kind of cool, I haven't seen these before. But this uh this one, I looked it up, it was like eight bucks. People have these up for like 80 bucks, but the ones that have sold have sold for about 20. Um, there's no price on this, so, but if I had to guess, they'd probably do six to 10 bucks, so we'll probably leave it. that and then uh doll stuff kitchen it's all messed up that's kind of cool google image it this was kind of funny too we got a wee no accessories nothing for 30 dollars <laughs> no controllers no hookups i don't know that's crazy looks like there might have been something something was taped to this Although I did see a wheel with like a Wiimote, so maybe that's what was taped to this, but kind of funny. How are you? Blake Belladonna. <laughs> we'll check on you. Yeah, 35, 25, 40. Lots of them listed. See if any have sold. Uh, 23, 28, 19, 24, 22, 28. So quite a few have sold. Box is trash though. For seven. Eh, probably gonna leave it. This does have a little bit of value, but it's just so beat up, you know, rip stickers and stuff. Some kid will find it and have fun with it. I do like this corded phone hanging off the wall. <laughs> That's funny. And if we're passing on that, we're gonna pass on all this stuff too. I did want to see what was in here. Some accessories. That's cool. Candy shop. More, I think this one's generic though. I don't think that's Barbie. And then here's just a block that must have gone with it or something. Cabinets. Okay, so all we picked up was this little wind up carousel. This is kind of cool. Look at this. It actually like swings around. <laughs> because I'm walking, it's. Like, if I stay still, they'll even out. That's pretty cool, though, huh? Five bucks. On Google Image, it looked like they were charging 40 ish for it. I think if I put a video up of this, I could get, like, 25 to 30 maybe? I don't know. be a cool little desk toy just to have for a while, too. Yeah, I don't know. I like little stuff like this. Well, anyway, let's zip up to store number one we know it's going to be crowded in there but we'll see if we can find anything all right lunch time stop number two up at store number one. First visit of the new week it's tuesday let's check it out all right well got some uh bionicle sets to check out pulled those off the shelf over there a couple of bags of like random transformers and go check too and I'll grab this because it said Fallout. Looks like it's Dorbs. I don't know if that'll be anything, but we'll check out some of this Lego stuff. Ben Witcher, kind of rough to buy in a bag, but actually I've had a lot of luck with Bionicle in the past, especially these individual character sets. Well, I scanned all the Legos and nothing. Couldn't find anything good. USB audio interface, same audio, side box old, but maybe it's worth it for five. 
look it up. All right, I don't know what I got recorded in there, but uh, none of the Lego stuff, surprisingly, was uh, any good. Um, looks like it was all selling for 10, 15 to 20 ish. Um, I did grab this little M Audio USB interface. I don't know if this is really worth it, but it's like, you know, look like a 20, or I'm sorry, 30 to 40 ish dollars. Somebody had it up for $20 for parts. So I don't know, for five bucks, I just grabbed it. I'd rather have something than nothing sometimes, <laughs> even if it's not worth it. It is Tuesday evening. We're at our first stop, store number two. Let's take a look. All right, we got some BTS going here. $6.99 for this guy too. We can't scan him, so we'll, uh, we'll look him up. Okay, any of the uh, BTS pops are worth picking up, so we'll leave him. And unfortunately, I think that's about it in here. I didn't see anything today. Looks like they've got multiple. Yeah, they stack them too. Yeah, it's cool. Some packs just because the art, the art's always pretty. Well, there's like a hollow too. Well, they, some... they're always gonna have foils. Every single card. Yeah. Oh, everyone has foil. Yeah. I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Magic, yeah. they all have some foil. Something Star to. And stuff I saw. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. The artwork is cool. It's a lot like Magic, you know. Did you play it? I no, I don't actually have any idea how to play it. Okay. I thought the art was okay. fun. Yeah, no, it's cool. Which is why I did not buy any because I'm like, no, I don't need to spend money just for. That's a lot of cards for 25 bucks. It's actually, even if they're right, probably, not I worth mean, much. It's probably a good price, but I doubt the cards are worth a lot. Yeah, I don't know. How long has it been here? I just did not pay. Okay. Okay, this could work out one of two ways. I could go through and part this out. It looks like. There's multiple cards in the sleeves, but they're all doubles of that card or, or, you know, multiples of that card. So I could sell multiples of cards. Could just sell the whole thing, make it easy on myself. We'll see, though. You know, for 25 bucks, I'm like, I'll, I'll take a chance. Last stop of the day. This is our last chance for glory. Curious about those cards. May or may not be a thing. I think I can at least get my money back one way or another, but uh, yeah, it'll be fun to look through them at least. But anyway, let's see what's in here. Did any of my friends leave anything for me? That's the real question. Today for cards or something, I just found these Advanced Dungeons and Dragons trading cards. I've never seen these before, even knew they existed. I'm wondering if they're vintage or not. I'm gonna do a little more research. I found another one too with some like Forgotten Realms cards. These are, shit, I might pick these up anyway, just cause they're kind of cool, but we'll do some research. I found this Howler Brothers jacket. It's an XXL, they want 25 for it. Looks like there's all over the place for this brand. I saw some of these that sold over a hundred bucks, but then there were stuff that were selling for like 50, so it's kind of hard to tell. Ran into my friend Lauren too, and she gave me this Tommy Bahama shirt, so I'm gonna look that up. And then she also gave me this Nike weird, it's like a jacket, I guess, but it's really garish. I'm not sure about it, but I'll look that up too and see if it's worth picking up. But that was cool of her. So this is a winner. I saw it sold at least on Poshmark for 140 bucks for that. So we'll definitely grab that. It's another big one. And then this one was around 30 bucks. So for six bucks, that's a grab too. So thank you, Lauren. We will uh, hopefully this will inspire us to actually get some of these listed. I don't know if they came out with stuff the other day. It's like a cool rare one. Not worth much, so I won't be picking it up, but it's still cool to see. Looking up those uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons cards, not a lot of value, and most of the sales are um, complete sets in a long box. Um, so not really worth it for resale, but I still think I'm going to pick them up just because I want to go through them, and worst comes to worst, I'll give them to Dave, and he'll enjoy them. All right, so... We did end up getting the cards. That would just be fun to go through. And then we got a bunch of clothes with some, uh, yeah, taking a chance. Lauren thought I paid too much for this jacket. Um, I mean, I probably did, but we're doing a little experiment. <laughs> you know, probably like 500 bucks into clothes right now, so I better get them all listed. But anyway, we'll, uh, we got one order to pick. It was a decent one. Only sale of the day so far. But we'll go grab that and then head home. 
kit really quick one tonight just one item sold today uh, luckily it's a decent one had this up for 138 somebody offered me 130 it's a sony ps2 slim it's the ceramic white model um, these are always good sellers but sometimes they take a while i had it priced up for a while so i had to bring the price down a little bit but got 130 for that and that's the only thing going out so i have no excuse not to get some uh, photography done tonight we'll see if i can uh <laughs> have a little discipline and uh, get some work done. I'm scheduled out on listings through tomorrow, I think. So I need to get some stuff moving if I want to stay ahead of the game. So have a great night. Forgot to bring up too that uh, we sold a CV last night after our sales. And I was going to let you know what that was. That was uh, Brother Lynch Hung. It's a rap CD from the mid 90s. We got uh, $45 for that. So make sure you uh, keep an eye out for rap CDs. Um, some of them can be very rare. I know some masterpiece stuff, some of those no limit record um, CDs are really good. Uh, you'll know those by the uh, real garish um, artwork on them. They're, they were known for that style. So one thing that I thought of that was kind of funny is when I actually worked at a record store in the mid 90s, we paid very little for rap uh, CDs and stuff because there was kind of a passing fad and they didn't have a lot of like, they didn't hold their value very well. Uh, we paid a lot more for like, you know, classic rock and stuff like that. Um, so it is kind of funny to see how much some of those rap CDs are worth now since uh, they didn't hold their value very well back then. But anyway, have a great night for the last time.